we still don't know how to make a diagnosis of this disease. And why is that important? It's important because it's the most common of the myeloproliferative neoplasms. And it's the one with um, the most um, <clears throat> risk of, well, it's the only one that people are at risk of thrombosis. In fact, that's how the disease is classically thought to uh, present in a good many patients. And then the thromboses are recurrent thereafter. What's happened over the years, uh, this disease has been around for 128 years. It was first described in 1892. So obviously, it was around before then. Uh, and so we have accumulated a host of information, and we're not using it. You know, if you go look at the literature today, you'll probably not see references farther back than 10 years ago. But there was a whole body of knowledge before that that's still valid. 